One of the things that is really hard to get used to with the Ocker is the loud noise inside the cab. The engine sort of sits right beside us and it makes it hard to hear either a conversation or the radios or whatever. And after a while it can become quite tiring with the loud noise. So what I did to overcome this was to use my electronics experience and I built an intercom system based on an aviation headset and aviation uh, control box and then I added some extra circuitry to allow me to connect my two-way radios and um, a phone so I can listen to a, a podcast music or something like that and I've also connected it so that uh, when I'm driving I can use the microphone in the truck to talk to the camera. Let's have a look at that. Headset is simply an aviation headset with a boom microphone. Goes on the head like that and the control box. So on this I've got the option uh, to turn it on here, off and on. Uh, volume control squelch. The squelch is used for the setting for the voice operation between the, the, uh, the intercom system. And I've got level controls for the CB radio, the VHF radio and the, the phone. So the phones for iPods and music. I have to select between the press to talk for the CB or the VHF radio. Um, it also um, sets up which direction the microphone goes. Unfortunately, I, I can't move these uh, headphone and microphones for the headsets away because they're mounted on the print circuit board. One of the reasons for building this box was that the volume control and the squelch control were so close together in the manufactured product I could barely operate them while we were driving. So I built this up um, and it, so it looked, it's worked out quite well. Inside's you know fairly messy at the moment but uh, it's a prototype, uh, it took a fair bit of time to get it going. During the exercise I found there was a, quite a few things I had to do. I had to modify some inputs so I could have three or four inputs that were level controlled. Um, what I did find was that the audio coming from some of the other inputs was too low a level to be heard easily. So I put a little preamplifier in there. Um, I've put a power switch in there so I can turn it off and on without using the volume control. And I've also put a 12 to 9 volt regulator because it runs on 9 volts. It looks a bit untidy inside. It's uh, uh, quite hard to modify anything there at the moment because I've got it all uh, hot glued down. But it does the job pretty well. So this is what it's, it sounds like uh, when I'm recording through the microphone on the headsets. Probably the frequency response isn't terribly great, but it's what you need to do to be able to hear and talk with inside the cab. Um, my aviation headset box that I've made is hooked up so that I can talk to the guys that are sitting behind me in their cars with uh, just a simple press of a radio. I've got volume controls and channel chain controls off the, off the radio, so it's all, all pretty cool. Taking a few days off at the end of this week and the beginning of next week, going to head up into the bush for a camping trip. This could actually be the last trip with this vehicle and this configuration, but that's another story, and once it's all done, we'll come back.